Legacy uh, Garden Centre and uh, here at the Academy, beautiful day here in Kloof and I'm here with Vince Lorenko. We're going to be talking about some products uh, for the use in uh, your gardens and especially with clivias, roses, uh, looking at some insecticides and pesticides, herbicides and uh, hopefully getting some, uh, some good feedback from someone who's developed these products since the 1980s. A lot of people walk into the shop and they ask me questions about roses and clivias and how do I do this and how do this. And I, I, I mean, I don't grow roses at home, but um, I've asked you many times, you know, what do we do and what are the things to pick up on roses? And um, a lot of people don't know. So I suppose the, the big thing for me is to ask the experts um, on what to do. So, so let's talk about roses. Um, what are the main things to do with roses? I think roses are, the roses are always a pleasure to grow. Um, I, I, we must get away from this sort of roses is difficult. It's definitely, definitely not difficult. But if you want to know, the, the most prevalent things that have occurred with roses, I'd say, is the, the no, you'll notice in the leaves itself, you'll notice the yellowing of the leaves. And um, as soon as you notice a leaf going yellow, and then soon after that you'll, you'll pick up the little black spot on it, and that's how it got its name, black spot. That, it's probably the most prevalent thing that happens with roses. So, and and um, it, it's quite easy to overcome if you do one, one or two sprains of of a chemical like this particular one. I think Kronos is one of them. And then the other one is, I swear to you, a rose protector will do it as well. So you've got this one and you've got another one called Aureus. I don't see it yet, but anyway, that, any one of those three will certainly stop the black spot. So black spot being, being the main thing, and obviously the leaves get a black spot and then they start going yellow. Um, and, uh, and obviously that's very visible. And then uh, spraying with a rose protector or, or Kronos um, should, should solve that problem. And is that just, you put that in the applicator and you dilute it and you spray exactly. it onto, exactly. to, and that should deal with it? Sure. Okay, so your products you, you're talking about now for, for aphids and things right. like that. So your Kronos, you, we have specific aphid, uh, aphid care as well in the, in the Gravida range. Coin oil, we can use that as well? Yes, the coin oil is quite handy. I find that the, whereas with aphids, every, you have to sporadically spray. With a coin oil, you, you can use it once or twice a year and you certainly get rid of all the aphids. And not only the aphids, the different types of aphids. You have all types of aphids. Italian, Greek aphids, and uh, blame someone else. Um, and uh, the, the, like this particular one, you'll notice with your, um, with your conifers, your citrus, your citrus trees, everything gets this, these aphids. And of course, one application, one, one application once or twice a year is all you need. So this, this they call a season-long control. Yes. Uh, so this is just controlled and you do it all the time. What, what I do with this particular product is um, I, um, I use, say for instance, if you've got 10 or 20 roses, you can use about 20 mil of that. So you put that 20 mil into, te into a 20 litre bottle, bottle bucket, and, um, and then you use about a litre per plant. And you use it at the base of the plant. So what you do is you, you, you lift the water table so that the chemical is uh, sandwiched um, at the, the feeder roots of the rose. Right. And then it's taken acropetally, taken into its system, and that's the end of your aphids. And not only aphids, I found it does strips, and it does, um, I don't know, they say red spider and things like that. So it's, it's, it's a one-off applicator, and it's so simple to do. I mean, at the farm we use that about 200 ml of that into a 200 litre drum and then all we do is take the, the watering can and uh, apply it at, at the base of the plant and it sorts it out. Your conifers, your citrus, your all your plants, all the others as well, it's taken up um, by the chemical, the it's taken up by the, uh, the plant, by the feeder roots of the plant, so your sandwiching of your chemical down at the feeder roots of the, of the soil is so important. And now how you do it is elevating the, the water table and then um, applying your chemical and then maybe the following day just sandwich that chemical so that the chemical is at the, the feeder roots of the plant. And that's, that's that. What I'm finding is a lot of people are, are getting their plants in trouble and then they're trying to deal with it uh, whereas they should be really doing preventative maintenance all the time, especially okay. if you're growing roses or clivias. I mean, one of the other problems that I find a lot of people coming in with is clivias, and we'll talk about clivias. Um, 
and, and maybe deal with tibias in another uh, in another section. But um, but I think for roses, so so that's it. I know uh, you bring me roses on Fridays, and I'm going to keep them in the shop. Um, I hope you enjoy them. And uh, so we've you know you've got some fantastic roses. I know you've cut back on your roses, but uh, but thank you very much, and we'll we'll uh, have another episode and I think we'll deal with tibias and some other no, insects and that. No, but, that's, a, uh, that's a real pleasure. Fantastic. I'm, I'm Thanks sure. for joining and me. I must congratulate you on your, your venture uh, under these weather conditions. Um, it, it takes a brave person like yourself to do something and I, and I, and I love to see the keenness in, in what you're doing and the adventure. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Vince. Thanks, Thanks very much.